the 2017 inductee He Is A Joy. The son of Gutsy Hempen from the He Is A Native Mayor, She Is A Joy, was foaled on March 1st, 1985, read by Bessie Jean and trained by her husband Claude Jean. He Is A Joy made his racing debut at Delta Downs on July 3rd, 1987. He was winless in his first three starts as a two-year-old because his size played havoc on his soundness in his two-year-old campaign. He was a he was a real nice colt when he was born. He was the best individual we had that year. <clears throat> when he was a two year old, we would uh, every time we'd work him, he'd get sore, get sore in his shins, and you know we were, you know we would get real high on him, and then he'd get sore. So he was just so big and so fast was the, was the problem, and. Uh, we pin fired him, and then later on that year, uh, of course, after all the money was ran out, he got sound. So, <laughs> and he turned three year old. It was on. He he was very hard to beat. In 1988 at Delta, he broke his maiden by three in his first race as a three year old, rattled off two allowance victories with seemingly little effort, and then qualified into the 88 Delta Downs Louisiana Breeders Derby on August 7th, where he romped the victory. He, he he won his heat, you know, real easy. I try not to push a horse in the trials, you know, so he can have a sound horse in the finals. And he, he won probably a length or two of light in the trials and, and come to the finals. It, he got in a little trouble, had to go around horses to win it, but he went it. I don't know if there was another horse in the picture, you know. Um, there's no other feeling like it in the world. It's It's... He's a Joy was the kind of horse that'll make you want to quit because you know he's so rare that you'll probably never find another one. So After the Derby, he wins one more allowance race at Delta and then it's off to Riadosa where he wins in an allowance event before going on to finish second in a grade three handicap at Riadosa and then running back at fourth place in the grade one championship on the mountain. He run out there. And he done well out there, but where he really done well was in California. And westward he went to California, winning a total of six stakes events while there in his career, including the Grade 2 Pomona Handicap at the Fairplex and the Grade 2 Chavada V Handicap at Los Alamitos. We knew he was a lot better than what we were getting out of him around here, so we just wanted to see how good he really was. In 1990, he as a joy was invited to compete in the Grade 1 Champion of Champions, but ran fifth to the top runner of that era, Dash for Speed, in the championship event. Um, he gained a berth to the Champion of Champions by winning the QHBC Classic. You know, to think that, you know, we raise a horse right here in Louisiana that can go out there and compete on that stage is just unreal. He would eventually come back to his home state of Louisiana to win his last stakes of his career in the Autumn Leaf Stakes in 1991 with Alvin Bubba Brosette aboard. He would retire after two more races with over $249,000 in earnings to his credit to live out his life on the Gene Farm in Evans, Louisiana until his death in 2010. He's a joy. is the biggest runner that daddy ever had. Uh, he, uh, he was by far the best. Uh, on his day, he, he, he was very hard to beat, and he ran against some of the best horses in the nation at that time. He was such a special individual. I mean, he was, from the time he hit the ground, he was one day old, but he looked like he was a month old. And uh, just going forward, he was a pleasure to be around. He was, you could put a kid on him and ride him. I mean, he was, he was such a rare combination of everything we hoped for in a horse. Just unbelievable speed. The 2017 inductee into the LQHBA Hall of Fame, he is a joy.